and of course another thing that uh, where big screen is rather useful is uh, for looking at images so if your for example comic books do not come as uh, PDFs but in images so from what I tried so far that also works rather well so let's take the standard pre-installed image uh, viewer and here I have some comic book in the image format and uh, uh, does he not? Yes, yeah, okay. So you can see also there it's actually rather fast and since the screen is rather big you can see that you can actually read it rather well even without zooming. Now let's see if the zooming here is as problematic as it is with a PDF. Oh, well, that's a little bit of a hit and miss. So this seems to work now pretty well, actually. Okay, so, um, so I'm just going to go a couple of pages just to give you a kind of impression of the speed on the device and probably should stop here now. <laughs> uh, it seems likely that a couple of pages later I will have problems with the YouTube's um, anti-pornography rules. So yeah, these are some of the features which are not totally standard, but there's actually some more things you can do um, with some special apps here. And one thing I thought was rather interesting uh, was connecting Bluetooth devices to that. So um, let's just try that out. So what I already tried out is um, just using this kind of Bluetooth uh, external keyboard and since the device is more or less standard Android, that actually worked pretty well out of the box. So, okay, I'm going to sleep now. So let's just go into uh, uh, editor. So there's already one uh, installed, but also uh, this uh, Yota editor works pretty well. Only wanted to quit the file, not the entire. But so yeah. So now you can see uh, that uh, you can see that I can write with the keyboard here. Now, um, as you can also see. <laughs> that uh, my Z's and my Y's are kind of uh, exchanged. And this is kind of a, an Android bug. I guess I had the same problem with my um, Galaxy S4, that the device always assumes you have a US layout, which is uh, kind of annoying since the US layout has very little extra keys. So uh, writing English with a German keyboard is kind of okay. Writing German with an English keyboard is very annoying. Um, but there are actually ways around that, thanks to the ability to just use the App Store. And so well, let's actually just stay in there. Uh, so let's go to the home screen. And uh, well, what happened here? Now if we go to apps, I already installed an app. Uh, this one, the Blue Keyboard JP. So that's actually an app, um, I guess, for getting a Japanese kind of keyboard layout. But you can choose all kinds of layouts. So there's German, Japanese, Dutch, Russian, and so on. And uh, this way you can actually kind of 
why does it always go to sleep? I don't know. Um, you can actually pretty easily um, uh, change your layout there. So I actually wanted to use a trick to get into the settings quicker, but the device doesn't want to. So normally clicking here on the uh, icon for the battery life, you can also get some additional information and go to options, but apparently doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. So um, <clears throat> what you can do is uh, go to settings and change your input device. Then all you have to do is change the default to the blue keyboard instead of the normal device. And then you can go back to your app. And since we now have a keyboard, we can actually just use the uh, Alt tab like you would in Windows. Go to the text editor. And if I didn't screw up, we should now be able to use it. So you can see it also doesn't display the, uh, the software keyboard now. Uh, so did. Can also change kind of languages a little bit. So did this solve the problem? Question mark. Apparently it did. So I can check that more concretely by using the German letters. Yep, they're all here. So yeah, that works fine. And I'm actually amazed how well that works. So using the device as a kind of uh, writer, the keyboard actually works pretty well. So using the device as a writer works well. It's quick enough for most instances, I would think. So uh, yeah, that's kind of nice.